There are two ways to place the bar on your back uh, when back squatting, either high bar, the high bar, high bar position, or the low bar position. Now, what I like to say when I explain that to clients, I actually use the terms front bar and rear bar or back bar, because you'll see the difference of position. So when I'm high bar, the bar is placed right on top of my upper traps, okay, right here. When I'm low barring it, the bar goes back quite significantly. It's about like five, six inches. So when the bar is high here on top of my upper traps, what happens is it's forward, therefore it's more aligned with my knees. So if I want to have an optimal bar path, because that's essentially the most important thing when you're squatting, is to look at the bar path. When you're looking at the side of the barbell, you want to see that the path of the bar is one straight line, down and up. So when I'm high barring it, I have to break at the knees first and put all the load on my quads, my knee extensors. If I use the same mechanics as I would on the low bar squat while having the bar up here, up there, what happens is if I lean forward like this and, and put my weight on my, uh, on my heels, then what happens is the bar path goes forward and that throws me out of loop. Uh, I misgroove the bar. It, it throws me forward. My lower back has to work a lot to keep the, to keep the bar back. It's really not optimal. It's quite dangerous. Now, if I'm low barring it and I try to squat as upright as I would on a high bar squat, then the bar is just going to fall back and that's really not optimal either. So if I'm looking at the bar path and I'm low barring it, I have to break at the hips first and make sure that the bar path is straight. Now, how do you know if you should use a high bar or a low bar squat? And it's pretty simple, really. Are you quad dominant or glute dominant? That's really what it comes down to. So somebody that's glute dominant and that's gonna use a high bar squat for their really big lift, it's gonna put most of the stress on their knee extensors, on their quads. Therefore, they're not in the most optimal position for them because their hip extensors are stronger than their knee extensors. As opposed to somebody who is really strong on the quads, is quad dominant, and it's not as strong uh, with the hip extensors, but that squats the low bar, then you put more of the stress on the back, on the posterior chain, and that's not their most optimal position to be in. So they have to make sure they put the stress on the quads. So it really depends what dominance you have as an individual.